How are you, my friends? This video is presenting seven old exams questions related to exponential functions, the pre-calculus course lecture number two. Let's directly start. Question number one, we have to graph the exponential function f of x minus four to the power x minus one plus four, find the range and then where the graph is above the x axis. Just important point here, to mention that the base here is four, not minus four, because we cannot accept a base negative. So we start here, so I did the graph by steps. The base four exponential function, so we draw it like this, it passes through zero and one. We have seen in the lecture how to graph the exponential function, base four, that means increasing. Then we have this minus outside, that means we take this function here and then we reflect that in the x-axis. See, it becomes like that. You can put it in the same graph, but I put it in separate. Now, shifted this one, uh, one unit to the right, x minus one. So we take this one, number two, to number three, we shift it to the right. See, one unit, only to the right. So it's minus four x to the minus one. Then we shift up four units. So this graph here, we can take it up four. So the horizontal asymptote becomes y equals four. Now after this is the final graph, you see this f here in green, this is the f and this is the final graph. So you can find x intercept, y intercept, you can answer any question you need. So now this is the graph. So this is uh, just the summary here to graph it. Start with the basic and then reflect in the x-axis, shift one unit to the right, four up x intercept usually we need x intercept let y is equal to zero so we have the same base four so x minus one is equal to one so x will be two so we know two here now where the graph is above the x from minus infinity until two above the x the range will be from minus infinity to four we stop here at the horizontal asymptote now here is an important question. We have f is the exponential function of the form f of x is equal a to the power x. So the base here is not known, but given f of minus two is equal three to the power minus one, this is the given, we can use it. That's a point actually. We use it in the function to find <coughs> the base a. So f of minus two is equal to three to the power half. So that means X is minus two, the Y is one third. So I can take X minus two, Y is equal one third, replace it in the function. See one over three is equal A to the power minus two. This is one over A squared. So A plus or minus square root of three. I cannot take any negative base. So the base cannot be negative. So I take only A plus square root of three. Now the function we have Square root of three to the power X. See, that's the function. What do I need to find? F of six. So I replace six in the function. Square root of three to the power six is equal to 27. Given the exponential function here, F of X three to the power X minus one. Let's find the value of H, a number. If F of H plus 17 minus eight, F of two is equal one over F of zero. So I can, replace h plus 17 in the function. Another time I replace two in the same function, then I replace zero in the same function. It's not that difficult. So replace the values in the function. So f h plus 17 in the x, see h plus 17 in the x, minus one there, three to the power of that, minus eight, f of two. So I put two three times, two minus one equals f of zero in the denominator, three to the power zero minus one. Now, three to the power zero minus one, three to the power minus one. One over that would be three. And three to the power two minus one, three times eight, 24. So minus 24, take it on the other side becomes 27, 27 is three cubed. And this is uh, H plus 17 minus one, H plus 16. Same base, so I can take the power equals 
h plus 16 is equal to 3, so h will be minus 13. I think this is a nice question. Medium, maybe. Now, m0 is the x-intercept <coughs> of this function. 0n is the y-intercept. Let's find the value of m plus n. That's straightforward. y0, I put 0 there to find m. Then I put x0 there to find n. So you can do that. Let's go slowly here. y equals 0 for x-intercept. I put 0. Uh, square root of 81 is 9. 9, and here there's another 9. And then uh, 3 to the power 1 third, the cube root of 3. Cube root of 3, 3 to the power 1 third. And here minus x plus 6. So we multiply there, multiply the powers, minus x over 3 plus 6 over 3 plus 2. And this is uh, 3 power 4. 9, 9, 81, 3 power 4 on the other side. So we have the same base, so I take 4 equals minus x over 3 plus 2. So minus x over 3, take 2 on the other side, becomes 2. So x would be minus 6, that would be uh, m. Now y-intercept, let x equal 0. So I put 0 in the x there, so I have only 6. 3 to the power 1 third to the power 6. Multiply the powers, 3 times... 6 times 1 over 3, which is 2. 3 squared, so that's 9 minus 81 is minus 72. So minus 6 is the m, and the n is minus 72, minus 78. Question number 5, you have to do some work here. The exponential function f of x, 2 over 3 to the power 2 minus 3x minus 2. Write it in this form, f of x, k, a to the power x plus m. You have to play with the function here until you reach this form. So you have to go from there to there. Let's see. We have to go backwards here. So I will start with the function. You see the function 2 over 3. And then I have 2 minus 3x. So I put 2 over 3 squared. 2 over 3 minus 3x. From where I get this idea? From here, you know, from the algebra course, I know a to the power m times a to the power n is equal a to the power m plus n. You add the powers. Let's go back. You see, back. If you have a m plus n, you can split it. a power m times a power n. So this one here, 2 is the m. And n is the minus 3x, all of it. So this is like a plus between them. Now I play with the power 2 over 3 squared. This is 4 over 9. Uh, 2 over 3, I can split this. You see the two powers here, a to the power mn. Go back, a to the power m to the power n. So 2 over 3, I put minus 3. So I invert and then cube it because I need x to leave x. Now, so 3 over 2 cubed, because I have 2 over 3 power minus 3. So the minus will invert and then cube it. So 27 over 8. Now let's compare this with this. You see k, where is the k here? 4 over 9, that's k, see in the middle here. Inside we have 8, 27 over 8, that's a. And the last number here minus m, all of it is plus m, because we can write here, plus minus 2. So if you get a, k, and m, put it in this expression here, and the answer 13, c. See, the answer c is 13 here. Now we have the function. We need to find the, the graph here. Find the function 2 to the power ax plus b plus c, then find the value c times b minus a. There is a similar one in the lecture. So we start with the horizontal asymptote. So C here is minus two. Then I take points on the graph. So I can take the point zero, zero, replace it zero for X, zero for Y. Then I will get here B one. So the function becomes two to the power AX plus one minus two. Then I take another point minus one, two on the graph. I put two for the Y, X is minus one. 
then A will be minus one. You can do it slowly here. So A minus one, B one, C minus two. The answer is D. Question number seven, we have to graph two functions. One, the absolute value on the whole function and then plus two. So plus two, we leave it at the end. And second one, we have absolute value on the X. I did in details, similar examples in the lecture itself. So let's start with the first one. Here I put only, if you like, this is question number seven, part A and part B, just like little gift here. Part A is the final, final answer. See the function, you see this one here, nine to the power X plus two, nine is three squared. So it becomes three power X. The function, the graph, the range. The function G, the final graph, the range. Then the details will be the next slide. Just the final, final, final answer. Let's start with A. If you have absolute value on the whole function, so we have to graph the inside. So nine to the power X plus two, what I did here, nine, I put three squared. So it becomes three to the power X, see? three to the power X minus three inside the absolute value. So let's call this function T. You see this one here, three to the power X minus three, the absolute value plus two. So I will call only the inside capital T, T of X. And then I draw it here easily. See three to the power X, draw basic exponential function, base three and shift uh, three units down. So this is the graph here. This is T, the black, and I will show you why I put this one blue. It's one function, because this is a negative Y. So the function T is inside the absolute value, the inside. Now, so this is the graph of T. What I need is the absolute value of T, which is this green here. You see the absolute value of T? You take the negative part below the X, make it above the X, positive. And then there is a plus two at the end. So you take this one, one, two units up. So the final, final graph of F is this one, the black. So the range will be closed from two to infinity. Now, B part, if you have absolute value on the X, it's easier to take two cases. So I would take the case on the right here, X greater than zero, that means from zero to infinity, positive. And then on the left here, I take X negative. So I will call it red, because the red graph here. And on the positive side, X greater than zero, I will call it the blue. So if X greater than zero from the algebra course, we know the absolute value of X is X. Remember that's definition. So the function B becomes minus three plus 10 to the power minus only the X there. So I can draw it here. See, 10 to the power X is there, the black dashed, and then reflection on the X, this one, and then shifting down three, see minus three, down three units. So I need the positive X. See, this is the positive. See, this is the, the part, the dark, the, 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 the black. That's the positive, this part here. See, this blue is the same as this blue. This part, the black here, on the right, that means X positive. Now, if X is negative, by definition, absolute value will be minus X. So the function becomes minus three plus 10 to the power X. So this is three, 10 to the power X increasing exponential, shifting down only three units. So I take the negative, see this is the negative, negative X, negative X, see on the left there. So now this is the uh, a blue, all this I take on the right side. This is the red I take on the left side, negative X. And this one is the final, final graph of the function G, which is minus three plus 10 to the power minus absolute value of X. If I need the range, it will be from minus three open until minus two closed. Now the answers here, for all these seven questions and their parts. For other examples, 
and explanations and the formulas, everything you need, please, you can visit the pre-calculus course, lecture number two, exponential functions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.